So, you know, we have always used the phrase rocket science. For the first time, we are getting used to or understanding what it exactly means. Why is it that we took 40 plus days to get there, whereas the Russians, even though it was a failed mission, made it there in just about five days? No, it has to do with uh, quite a lot with the rocket which they used. The rocket we used is the LVM-3 rocket, which has a capability of uh, four tons to GTO. And uh, the corresponding payload capability for putting the satellite in an orbit, which will directly take it to moon, could needs little more power. Typically, if it was around six tons to GTO, possibly we could have done that. The Soyuz rocket, which took the Luna 25 had that type of capability because their upper stage is very powerful upper stage which actually did the final boosting to put it in the translunar tract right away so they could travel in five days of time. So when the rocket is not powerful what you have to do is you have to make the satellite more powerful. It should have a propulsion which should be able to do that translunar injection but that also cannot be done in one go. So that's why we have to do a maneuver which is uh, moving around the earth in multiple passes and do the energy addition or the velocity addition at the most efficient manner. You know that every movement around the earth is in an elliptical orbit. When it is closest to earth, we call it perigee. The closest point, apogee is the farthest point. In the perigee is the highest velocity zone and if you can impart the energy to it at the closest point, instantaneously that is the most efficient but we cannot do that we have to do it over a period of time so the ultimately what happens is the propellant that you are consuming to do the energy increase is minimized so it is done in multiple phases to raise the orbit so that the last orbit firing will raise it to such a level that the final orbit will en encircle the moon so that's how it took more time in around earth then second is in around moon also we took more time. Uh, that's why the Chandrayaan-3 craft has two parts. One is the propulsion module, which you, which you can see here. From this point to this point is a, a, point, uh, is a hardware just to take the lander to moon. Typically satellite engines are more efficient. And once the rocket part is goes away, the mass comes down. So you can make it do more efficiently. So this is a new way of doing it. And we had done right from the Chandrayaan 1 time onwards. We did it for Chandrayaan 2, we did it for Mangalayan, and we did it for Chandrayaan 3 as well. Idu Asianet News Network Prastuti. New Nurtidira Asianet Suvarna News. <laughs>